going to take a look at creating starbursts in CorelDRAW X4. And if we go ahead and scroll down here, we can see we've got a starburst in the back of this design here. Kind of like a sun rays heraldly type of starburst. And we can create any number of starbursts very effectively, very quickly with the CorelDRAW graphics. We have a number of tools we can use for that. We'll take a look at those in this tutorial. The first tools that we want to do is to start creating stars. We want to take a look at our polygon tool, our star tool, and our complex star tool. Now, whenever I'm creating a star, I'll be honest with you, I go right to the polygon tool, and you'll see why in this tutorial. I see a lot of people go to the star tool or the complex star tool, but you've got some limitations there. We'll take a look at the complex star. You notice that the minute we pick one of these tools, we get our properties bar for that tool, and this is actually the complex star tool. And if I go ahead and I hold down my shift and control, I'll be able to create a perfect complex star from the center point. And I can change in this property bar some things here. Here is the sharpness of the star, and you'll notice that if I go up with that, that'll change that to, to 3. Here's the outline on it. Here's the number of points in the star, and I can change that. I can also go up here, grab my shape tool, and I can left click and drag down on these nodes, but you'll notice that as I work with some of these nodes, I have some properties that I can apply to these similar vector objects. I can convert this to a curve, and I can start to radically change what's going on with this. And I can create some great effects with this particular tool. I've got a line here, so if I want to change that, I'm going to have to convert that to a curve, and I can start to create even more profound effects. I can double click in here, double click in here and I can start to change that even and then come out and create a really cool flower type look here and then if I wanted to break all this apart I could have some flower petals here or I could take it even further and go with something like distort and spin this and start to get some feather type shapes with it and really what we want to be able to understand when we're working with Corel Draw is how to use our shape tools in every possible instance to do our graphic design work more quickly so that's the complex star shape, and the only real problem I have with that is when I finish this, if I want a solid object of this, I'm going to have to go to Effects, and I'm going to have to select Create Boundary, and then I'm going to kind of lose what's going on with this, and I'm still going to have some issues relating to this. But if I work with the regular star tool, I can create some pretty good stars here. I can go to the star tool here, and I can go ahead and change my points on this. But you'll notice with this tool, if I go to my Pick tool, I really don't have these options available for converting the curves and changing the shape and things like that. So whenever I'm creating a star or a starburst, really the tool that I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to the polygon tool. That's going to give me the most control and it's also going to give me the most options in creating shapes in Corel Draw as far as stars are concerned. So I'll go ahead and create a polygon here. What I want to do is I want to come up to my properties bar here. We'll take this down to three points because I'm just going to work with the basics of it and then we'll change it and we'll see how this tool can be applied to create some pretty radical starburst very quick. I'm going to go ahead and left click with the shaping tool on one of these nodes, pull this down. I'm going to hold the control key to constrain that so I get exactly the same incoming on these points, a proportional or constrained indent as I pull in these nodes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click here on this line and lay down a node. Then I'm going to come down double click here just beneath that again lay down another node. Then I'm going to come up, left click, hold down, grab this node and pull it down right in here. And you'll notice that every single point on my star changes. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to add another node over here on the right hand side. Double click, drop a node there. Might want to bring that down right there just so it's lined up almost the same. Double click, lay down another node above that, then left click on that and pull that right down also. Now I've got a three-point polygon, but I've actually built three points inside of each point. I'm going to add another point on each side. We'll zoom in and take a little bit of a closer look here. Go back to my shaping tool, double-click here, and drop a node there, double-click above that, drop another node, then left-click, hold down, drag that right down into here. I'm going to do the same here. Double-click right about there. We want to keep everything lined up as the points are so we have balance in these points and we're changing these radically. Now here these points are all set up now we want to kind of align or set up the spanning here. Now we want to bring these points here up like this and then the other one here on the right side kind of match that almost identical. Same thing here for this point. Kind of bring that down a little bit and we'll bring that up here to the left a bit and bring that down just a little so it lines up with the other one. Now if I want to make sure I've got these lined up evenly I can left click up here in my ruler and pull down a guideline as you can see there, and that's lined up pretty good. 
Now you notice that I've got these three points that I've built out into actually five points each. If I go back and click on my polygon tool, my polygon properties bar will come up and I can go ahead and change from five points here to six, seven, oh, we want to make sure we've got that selected. We didn't have that selected and that's why it wouldn't go. Three, we've got it selected, now we'll go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now we've got this set up, a left click over here in the black in my color palette, right click in the no fill to take that out. We'll bring this up a few more times. And you can see I've got this really nice starburst effect set up. Now I'm going to zoom in here and we'll make some adjustments to this even with this many points. I'm going to go ahead and take this center point one, pull this out here just to about there. I'll bring this here, go over here and bring this and you can see how every single point is changing as I change them and spread these out. Now we kind of want to center things up a little bit more here and that should be okay. Now sometimes you need to zoom in here and take a look at what's going on in the base of these with the nodes. We can take these and we'll pull this down here so that these are even and we'll do the same here so that these line up and they're kind of circular and then we kind of want to center this up just a bit. Bring this up so everything's kind of centered down here at the bottom and then as we come out to our points we can make some more adjustments here. Just kind of span these out so they look like they're even. Now when you put them in the design, if they're not perfect, Nobody's really going to pick that up, but if you want to make it perfect, you can do that if you want to spend the time. I'll go ahead and delete this starburst here, and then I'll go ahead and bring this new starburst in, and we'll put that in the background behind that. Go ahead and resize this just a bit, and then I'll go ahead and right-click on this and select Order, and we'll go to Back of Page, select OK here for Layer, and as you can see, we've got a really cool starburst. Now, we can create a whole lot of shapes with that polygon tool. I mean, I've created wings with it, all kinds of things, and we've got some other tutorials on the site you can get into relating to the polygon tool. But this is just a quick tutorial on how to create starbursts in CorelDRAW.